Amazon Kinesis is actually a collection of services which help us to easily collect, process, and analyze video and data stills in real time. Right now, the Amazon Kinesis offers four kinds of services. The first one is like Kinesis Video Streams. So it actually captures, process, and store video streams. Then Kinesis Data Streams, it captures, process, and store data streams. Kinesis Data Firehouse, which actually load data into AWS Data Store. And the last one is Kinesis Data Analytics is actually analyze data streams with SQL or Java. So in the very beginning, let's uh, discuss the definition. So Amazon Kinesis Data Stream is a service for capturing large amount of real-time data from various producers, who is actually uh, known as sources, and store them. And after that, uh, what actually we do, uh, we means the customers. So we write our custom applications, which is known as consumers, to read data out of the stream. On the other hand, Amazon Kinesis Data Firehouse is a service for delivering real-time streaming data to destinations. So currently, Amazon Kinesis Data Firehouse supports uh, only four destinations for storing the data. So Amazon S3, Amazon Redshift, Elasticsearch, or Spine. So for the Kinesis Data Stream, customers have the option for customizing their sources, I mean data producers, as well as the consumers so customers can write their own uh, custom application for reading the data out of the uh, kinesis data stream on the other hand for kinesis data firehouse customers don't have the option for customizing their uh, destinations or the consumers so the data firehouse is actually pre-configured to send their data to a custom destinations and the next one is kinesis data stream actually is a collection of shards and users need to scale manually by changing the number of shards uh, whereas the kinesis data firehouse is actually fully managed service users don't need to think about the scaling it scales automatically when needed okay now let's think about from a developer's perspective so for writing a single record, both of them use actually put record method, but uh, for Kinesis data streams, for writing multiple or best records, it uses put records, uh, whereas the data firehouse uses the put record based method. So I will just try to dive into a little bit deeper for this. So for the Kinesis data stream, uh, when we are writing data into the streams, we can see like we need to put the streamness as well as a set of records or a collection of records. So where every collection has like three parts like data, then explicit hash key, then partition key. On the other hand, for Kinesis Data Firehouse, uh, the record has actually only one field, which is data. Here, I actually want to focus on the partition key field uh, because it's a required field when we will try to add a record to the Kinesis data streams. So these fields uh, actually tells us many things. So partition key is used to segregate and route records to different shards of our data stream. So when a user wants to like group or segregate the data based upon any key, say for example, like container ID or the task ID, then they need to mention or provide the key like okay so i am setting the partition key as container id so my data will be like grouped based upon the um, container id so it actually helps the users to group their data separately and send them to separate destinations Okay, the next one, Kinesis data stream actually stores incoming data for a period of 24 hours by default, but Amazon Kinesis stream can now retain your streaming data for up to seven days. For this, we need to actually make some explicit, uh, I mean, request to the AWS. And on the other hand, for the Kinesis data firehouse, 
so the maximum data stress time of kinesis data file is 24 hours if the data delivery fails for more than 24 hours so your data is lost so we actually don't have any options without losing our data okay finally i would love to explain something using graphical contents let's see so a kinesis data stream actually is a collection of shards and uh, customers uh, when creating a kinesis data streams they need to mention the number of shards they want to use and uh, if they need to scale it so they can uh, increase or decrease the number of shots any time after creating the data streams so after that when the data stream is created we design our input so we can design any number of input sources or the producers which will actually write or send the logs to our kinesis data streams and they will be i mean stored in different shards based upon their partition key right so after that we need to design our consumers or the destinations so we can write our own custom destination or custom application say for example we have written to custom destination or application and the data will be stored on these two destinations we can also store our data to other destinations like amazon s3 Amazon Redshift, Amazon Elasticsearch, and Spang as well. We can always write our custom applications, our custom consumers for retrieving the data from our Kinesis data streams. Okay. Now the main thing I want to show you is that we know Kinesis Data Firehouse. What Kinesis Data Firehouse can do? Kinesis Data Firehouse can deliver data directly to only four available options right so and we already know what are the four available destinations are there for kinesis data firehouse they are amazon s3 amazon redshift amazon elastic source and spine okay now can you guess something what i am going to tell say Kinesis Data Firehouse can directly stream the data to those four destinations. So what we can do when our Kinesis Data Streams stores some data, after that we can use Kinesis Data Firehouse to directly read data out of the Kinesis Data Streams and send them to the four destinations, right? So the main interesting thing is like when Kinesis data stream finishes its tasks, I mean, get the log data and store it temporarily. So after that, the Kinesis data firehouse can start working, right? So Kinesis data firehouse then can read the data out of the Kinesis data stream and forward them for sending only four available options. So I think you got a little bit <laughs> Uh, idea what's the difference between kinesis data streams and kinesis data files are so for more study you can always go to the aws documentations and look into them thank you